Hello everyone, welcome to Homemakers. Today we're painting a uh, bird feeder. So in your kit you should have a flower. Yours will be blank. I've already painted mine. You should have some paint and a couple of brushes as well as a palette. And you'll also have some twine. Um, you'll want to grab some scissors so we can cut the twine later on. Um, and then you should have this metal cup to put your bird seeds in. So I've already painted mine. Uh, I did just a really simple design with two of the colors. You can use all of them if you want, of course. And I did paint both sides just because if it's hanging in a tree, you'll want to see both of those sides painted. Once you get it painted, you're going to need to hang it. There are a couple of ways you can do it. The first thing you're going to need to do is get your twine and cut it into five equal pieces. Mine are about 18 inches because I want it to hang about a foot, um, but you'll just decide how long you want it to hang and then um, add a few inches because we're going to be making some knots and that'll take some of the length off. <clears throat> so once you've got your five equal pieces, there are two ways you can attach your twine. You can either insert it and then tie it off. This is the fastest way. So you would just put in, sorry, my hands are covered in paint. <laughs> you would just double knot it and then you would be done. I'm not going to double knot it because I'm taking this off. Um, or you can put it from front to back and then make knots, enough knots so that it doesn't slip through that hole. It doesn't matter which way you do it, it's just the other way the twine is a little bit more visible, so it's just personal preference. And I'm using the thinner twine, but if you've got the thicker one, it won't take this many knots. Okay, that shouldn't slip through there. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to lift this up here. So once you've got all four, or all five of your pieces of twine attached, you'll want to make sure that they're all even. So I've got this on my table, and then I'm going to sort of pull on all five of those strings to make sure that they're all the same distance. Oops. <laughs> that one needs more knots. Okay. So once you've got your five strings here, you're going to just gather them all up, twist them around your two fingers, and then put this through. That'll make one knot. And then to hang it, <clears throat> you're going to need another knot. So I'm going to come up here. This might be too short. I'll come down here and make another knot. It's about an inch down from the first one. And so this would be where you could hang it from a tree or if you have a little hook on your house or your balcony or somewhere that you can hang that from. Um, that is where you would attach it. And it should be even. If you hang it up and you notice that it's not, go ahead. These knots, as long as you haven't pulled them too tight, shouldn't be too hard to take out and just adjust as you need to to make sure that these are hanging evenly. And then you'll just fill that with bird seed. And uh, hopefully you attract some cool birds to your yard. So check our schedule for next month's activity. Um, we'll be back with a different project. And uh, if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Thank you.